Hi now, and welcome to another exciting episode of Chair Morris's Cookery Kitchen. Today I'm joined by Gavin, who is an entomologist, and uh, Anastasia, who is a vegetable psychologist. Uh, so I'm going to ask uh, ask them a little bit about themselves. Uh, Gavin, tell me uh, a little bit about entomology and how it's going to help us in the kitchen today. Well, really, I like to look at our insects. They like a lot of different vegetables. I mean, you know, you've got a common ant. Uh, Onion ant loves onions, and uh, you've got quite a lot of other ones that like ketchup, like this, which is our favourite down where can we be from. Isn't of it? course, we also know that uh, HP sauce actually tastes of black ants. It does. And that is because of the formic acid in both HP sauce and black ants. Yeah. And that is actually a true fact. It's true. So if ever you're having fish and chips and you run out of uh, HP sauce, or even Heinz, Heinz ketchup sauce, don't worry, get some black ants, squeeze them really hard, get a load, squeeze them, let that juice come out, and you've got it here. Of course, if you want tomato ketchup, you will want to be squeezing maggots, and I'm not talking about the pink fishing maggots, I'm talking about your regular uh, uh, blue bottle fry prawns. maggots, because right? yep. they taste exactly like red sauce. They and do. now tell us a little bit about vegetable psychology. What is this onion thinking? Yes, well, um, where I live the, in, in, in Birmingham, we have these onions that uh, we grow them underground. <laughs> and uh, and um, this may sound bizarre. <laughs> I'm used to living in a basement. I'm not used to being on TV and talking about my onions. But it's, uh, it's okay. Um, tell us about these lentils. How have lentils changed the face of humanity? These are incredibly, incredibly important little green uh, uh, peas, really, they are. They're like split peas. Mm -hmm. they, they can stop the cancer process in, in the gut. Do they persuade they it using reason or logic? The reasoning, that is definitely reasoning, because if you eat something like this, your cells in your body are just going to thank you for it. That is absolutely brilliant advice, and I am really lucky to have you on the uh, programme with us today. Oh, so, I was bitten by a lentil. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But you'll have an immunity now to some I, of those <clears throat> bugs that you play around I hope so, because he's a bloody pain in the ass. That's where he bit me, little bastard. Right, uh, yeah, anyway. of course we may have to bleep that out in the uh, thing, but that, that was very good. Sorry. Now, also, now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a rare, rare commodity called Grilled Mantis. Now, it's not actually made from mantis, but I'm hoping that with the fact that we've got an entomologist here and a vegetable psychologist, that we can create something which has the full essence of mantis. So we're going to go to that phase now. To make grilled mantis surprise, what we need is we're going to need a little bit of Coleman's horseradish sauce. Mmm, coleradish uh, fresh garden mint. Can I hear it? mmm from you guys? Mm. See, if they love it too, it's all good stuff. Right, we're going to need a little bit of, little bit of uh, ketchup here, which is delicious. We're going to need our green lentils we were showing you earlier. As Gavin said, don't get bitten by the lentil monster. Yeah, they are hurt. very yeah. dangerous. Yeah. All right, we've got our black pepper, which is delicious. Okay, going to have a lot of black pepper in there. Got our bisto gravy granules. Mmm, bisto. Absolutely brilliant. Can we hear another mmm, guys? Mm. Right, we're gonna have a can of tomato soup. Now because we don't have a decent can opener, we got a load of different can openers, and we're gonna find out in this program which one of these can openers works. All right, next part, we got an onion. Can't go wrong with an onion, cleans your blood, keeps the vampires away, gets you laid, all that stuff. Let's hear an mmm. Mm. Okay. And it makes you cry. Oh yes. Yeah. Be very gentle with the onion. Now, we will also get some Ribena juice, which mm. will help the process. Because we're going to be using this as a start, as a staple for our sauce. Okay, so where shall we begin? <coughs> okay, I'm going to hand this across to Anastasia, who is going to begin opening it with these can openers. Okay, mm. now... Uh, 
I need this onion to be cut into um, many different pieces. Uh, you can use this fork to cut the onion. Um, excellent work. We are discovering a lot about the thing. Okay, another bash. Just throw them on the floor, darling. That's brilliant. Okay, none of those work. I'll disappear temporarily and I'll do it. Um, and oh. Feel free to use the knife. Right, oh. I'm going to start work on preparing the sauce. So what you want to do is you want to cut your onion up and open the tomato. Now that is beautiful. Be careful not to cut yourself on the tomato there. And we're going to pour in a load of ribena. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It looks just like real blood. Right, yum, now, yum. We got, this is oh where God. you use your one calorie spray. You see, if you add in the tomato sauce before you add in the one calorie spray, it can transmute into a Gyarados. So we're gonna add a bit of the one calorie spray, adding a lot of calories, adding a lot of cholesterol, and hopefully making everybody very ill. Okay, so once we've added our calorie spray, we no longer need it. Okay, the floor is full of dangerous tripping hazards. And you've done a fantastic job opening that tomato soup. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, uh, I, I would suggest using the knife as well to cut the onion, because we need it in very fine slices. Okay, now, what we're going to do next is we are going to open these jars of Coleman's Fresh Mint and Horseradish Sauce. And we're going to have a race. Are you ready? Are you set? I'm set. Let's... Are you sure you're set? Are you I'm sure? Ready. Keep cutting that onion. Okay, let's see who can do it first. Okay. Switch sauces, switch sauces, switch sauces. Switch sauces. No! You cheated. Yes, yes. You see, if only you were good as like I am. I loosened it for you. Excellent. Right, um. Excellent work. Okay, now what we want is we want a nice teaspoon full of each. We would be using these tablespoons, but the tablespoons are slightly too large to fit into the jars. So we have it prepared with these teaspoons, using a different teaspoon for each one. And we are going to put one delicious dollop of sauce into the mix, into the sauce. So there we go. Mmm, mm, that's delicious. There we go. All right, I'm just going to mix them together there. Oh, isn't that amazing? It looks like the human bloodstream. At least it looks like my bloodstream with all that cholesterol floating around. Mm. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we can now move away the other, the other pieces. Okay, now, how's the onion coming along? It's, it's looking like very frisky. It is, Nothing it's beats a frisky onion. Now, it's a very we're going to onion. pour, we're going to pour our tomato into <laughs> Oh wow, that looks absolutely amazing. That looks, that looks like fire. We are going to pour the tomato soup like fire, into man. the bowl. And this will act as the primary staple behind the delicious mess Beautiful. that is Beautiful. the horror that we have created. Yeah. So we're just going to give that a quick stir. Look how beautiful it is. Uh, those colours are absolutely vibrant and amazing. But it yeah, is not quite gorgeous. complete. For we are going to add bisque dough. How much bisque dough should we add to this mixed uh, vegetable cycle? We should do a good shake over the top so that it's fully, com completely covered and then it sinks down slowly. Now, what, one quick uh, thing I need mm. to ask. We are dealing with tomato soup here. Mm -hmm. So what is the tomato soup thinking as it's being penetrated by the bisque dough gravy? Well, as these are favorite gravy granules, um, this will, Add to the concept of home cooked, lovely, warm food that you get on a Sunday from your grandmother. So, so what will the tomatoes right. be thinking? The tomatoes will be thinking that this is a nice injection of flavour that is going to basically awaken your senses and just really work with this. The tomato and the gravy together, you couldn't get more nutrition than that. It is absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to add a bit more in there, that's good. Just add it nice in, sprinkling add it in until top. it's happy. It looks yeah. like grey hundreds and thousands, that makes me happy. That's really, really good. 
Okay. That's so, about right. Yeah. Following it up, we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. Not too little, not too much. You know, you've got to make sure with your black pepper that you don't add too much black pepper. You see, that is a nice little amount of black pepper that we got left in the uh, jar, and we have just the right amount in the middle of the. And this meal. is very good if you have any cramps in your body. <clears throat> It is very good if you get cramps, yes. So what we're going to do is I we're going to stir I've it seen in. some beetles now, in here, actually. Yeah. Really? What kind of beetles? Uh, I think that's a uh, lesser spotted uh, monkey one. And uh, that's the uh, Albanian uh, Maximilian screw. Oh and my God. Uh, the little ones there, that's uh, John Lennon. <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> oh, I nearly fell for that Sorry, one. last one's a joke. Right, um, yeah. so we're going to sort of stir this in right there. Uh, I'm going to pass this over to Anastasia because she's really good at stirring and I'm not. Um, I've got I a, love stirring. You see, what we're doing is we're going to do a little improvisation on the Nouveau Cuisine. Right, this is where your lentils come in. Oh, yeah. those ones are dead. Everyone knows that lentils are very, very vicious. So what you're going to do is normally you'd want a glove, but I'm hardcore, so I'm going to... Oh, Fucking hell! God damn it! This is really Fly. painful! For life! Oh my god! Fly. No! No! no. I've restrained it for you! Okay. It's okay! It's okay! It's okay, man! Shh. It's okay! It's only a little nip! It's only a little nip! It's only just a little bit of blood! A little bit of blood! Oh, that's got it! Got it! Yeah! Got, got it! Got it! Got it! Get in that fucking bum! Get in there! Lentils! Right, and. Um, I think I saw one of the critics little move. No, no. Nah, it's alright, it's in that. Nah, got him, got him. Got there we go. Right. There you go. You're the best. Look at him, look kill at him. Go on, kill it. Okay. Mm. Got him. Yeah. Right. Tastes like yogurt, doesn't it? Delicious. Yeah. Right. Well, I thought. Hey, this one's alive! Oh my god, he's oh, running bit. away. Quick, get him. Oh, oh, damn it. It's, it's hidden amongst the other lentils. Oh, so see, that's camouflage. Like the oh man, that is looking absolutely beautiful. That is looking And so what we're going to do, we're just going to go over it. You're not bad for a shiwi, you do quite well. Yeah. Nouveau cuisine. We've got to go over that. it. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? And just to finish it off, that's the we're going to top it up. That is, that, we're yeah. going to top it up with a little bit more Arbina. That's fantastic. Alright. Yeah. Now that is absolutely beautiful. Now what we've got is we've got a nice prepared sauce here. Okay, now this is the sauce which we've been building from day one. Isn't she amazing? Now, because this is Nouveau Cuisine and the style of Nouveau Cuisine, we have yeah. to move it into the other receptacle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, we're going to use a different type of big spoon uh, just to get a large globule of the sauce and this sauce can be kept for weeks and we're just going to go through there like that look at it dribbling all that over that looks really nice and there that we smells, have it that smells like heaven that it really is does. heaven that is gorgeous yeah. right isn't that not the most delicious thing and we're going to move this slightly to one side okay is that right. not amazing yeah. Golden well, Ramsay would be proud. That looks fantastic. really, really amazing. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. beautiful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try the taste test. Everybody taking, everybody taking a green spoon. And what we're going to do is we're going to. I think it would be nice up. to feed one of it. If we each feed the other, it would be nice. Well, I think. How would that affect the psychology of the? Um, well, about the relationship with food and, 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 and your friends in the kitchen when well, you're cooking. I don't cooking. think we we're in shot there, mate. I All think, right. I yes. think we're going to have to. Now, Gavin, Gavin, could you, could you uh, lift this up because you're an entomologist, which means you're right. enormously strong. Right. Just so the audience can see that we have not replaced the food because people say that we replace the food so I just can't this, wait to this get into really, this. This is really, really good grass. It, it doesn't look really beautiful. Yeah. I keep tripping well. up over these, throwing them over the floor is a really freaking dangerous <laughs> idea. Health and safety. The health and safety. If only and we had our health and safety expert here today, things like this would not happen. He died of food poisoning, didn't he? I think he's still alive. He's just sleeping off the stomach pump. Oh, right. right. Um. Okay. So you suggested that we feed each other. Yes. So who do you think should feed who? I think I should feed you, and yes. you should feed Gavin, and Gavin should feed me. <laughs> Okay, I, I'll get All a right. nice, I'll get a nice, uh, 
Get a nice helping for nice. Gavin. Just make sure you've got a bit of onion. Ooh, yeah. uh, no, 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 get no, no. a little bit of the sauce no, in. No, no, I think you should have. <laughs> I think you should have a nice. I like a nice. I know. Nice I want. I would like some more. Yeah, but, you know, you know, you nice really. Are, I, yeah, I think it's going to be really nice. Yeah, I don't want too much. Can you have? Get yeah. Okay. She does have a small mouth. It does. For a Sheila. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, hey, make sure, Gavin, just to oh, make can, sure you're can, not can, short can, can changed. You, can you get hold of a little bit more of the lentils I'm for me? I'm trying to get the lentils and the All right. ketchup. Could you just help me get this on my spoon? Can you just yeah, push okay. that? That bit there, that big, uh, the big onion. That's, right. <laughs> that's a little bit much for me, but I'll, tr I'll try. Oh, this is, this is, okay, sorry. That's a bit much for me. Right, um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Uh, are we, are, I think we should do it one by one. Yeah, I okay. think we should do it one by one. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> it's nice. Is it nice? Yeah, it's amazing. Really good. Mm. <laughs> Hang on. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what we have discovered with uh, the creation of this grilled mantis surprise is that uh, it creates this sort of um, field in your mouth. It's like a, a sort of texture which um, create. It, it causes this bilious violent vitriol to rise up inside you and heave out of your mouth and just about every other orifice in your body. I think it's the perfect thing to eat if you're walking home at about 11 o'clock on a Friday night and you haven't been drinking and you yes. want to blend in. Just have some of this. Oh, definitely. It goes with kebabs. You're just perfect, Certainly perfect does. thing, perfect thing to top the night off. Gives you that gag reflex. That's exactly that's, exercise that's what you need with these kind of vegetables yeah. can produce that response and very very rare indeed. I've had my second lot now. I swear by this because I mean I, I uh, as an entomologist I actually find that I'm also bonding with my friends by eating them. It's actually oops sorry I'm busting out the kitchen here and um, really nice. I quite liked it. Um, I did not have a regurgitative reflex going on, uh, so I feel somewhat deprived. I think I might stick my fingers down my throat and go to the toilet and see if I can actually induce it. It's fantastic stuff. It's very good. Yeah. Anyway, it's been beautiful mm. having both of you on the program with me, Perfect. and Thank I you. hope to Thank be making you. some Pleasure. more amazing programs with you in the future. So uh, it's been nice working with you guys.